Good morning, everybody. And I'm going to get right to it because I know that I am the only thing between you and lunch. Buenos dias a todos. Buenos dias a todos. Buenos dias a todos. Okay, well, why are they... Buenos dias a todos. Yo sé que soy lo único entre ustedes y su almuerzo. And the lunch is amazing. It's y el delicious. Está delicioso. ¿Cómo sabes? Porque ya conozco quién lo hizo. Oh, okay. So, uh, antes de empezar, Pastor, entonces tú me vas a hacer translate, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces vas a hacer todo lo que yo haga. Yes. Okay, let's go then. We're going to have a good time here. <laughs> so, this is very important and I want to thank the committee for for asking me to do this it's it's a topic close to my heart. Esto es muy importante, agradezco al comité que me pidió dar esto, es un tópico muy cerca a mi corazón. Construyendo una familia saludable, let me start in English. It is building a healthy family. Construyendo familias sanas. And I took a, a verse from Genesis that maybe is not very common when it talks about this. And I know that the, that the title sounds a little boring, but bear with me as we go. We're just going to go through five points and I'm going to go quickly, so let's go. Tal vez se siente un poco aburrido el, el título, pero este texto este, lo escogí para esto. Vamos. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Genesis 2.18, the scripture is up there in Spanish. So, what happened? The Lord created everything in Genesis. Dios and creó todo en Genesis y... And he created a man. Y creó a un hombre. But then he, you know, he put him with where all the animals and he was naming the cattle and all the animals. Lo puso con los animales a quienes él estaba nombrando. And then God said, you know what, he's alone. Y Dios dijo, está solo. And he's, not, you know, he's not getting along with the animals. It isn't happening there. Y no es compatible con los animales. And that's when he said, you know what, it's not good. No es bueno. I'm going to make him a help me. Le haré una ayuda idónea. And lo and behold, he created Eve. Y crió a Eva. And that's how the family started. Y así empezó la familia. To be together. Para estar juntos. And I was thinking, well, a building a healthy family. So let's look back at our, at our biblical patriarchs estaba, to see what they did. Estaba pensando, construyendo familias sanas. Vamos a ver a las familias los patriarcas. So we looked at Adam and Eve, and uh, to our dismay, well, their son Cain kills their other son Abel. La familia de Adán y Eva, Cain mató a Abel. Noah, Ham, his, uh, the father of Canaan, exposed his father's nakedness. En la familia de Noé, Cam expuso la desnudez de su padre. Well, Abraham and Sarah. Abraham y Sara. The Bible calls him the friend of God. Eh, la Biblia le llama el amigo de Dios. Had an illegitimate son with Hagar because Sarah got impatient and she said, you know what, I really want you to have a baby. So he gave him, his, uh, uh, she lent him her, her servant and he had an illegitimate baby. Engendra un hijo ilegítimo con Agar debido a la impaciencia de Sara. Isaac and Rebecca, their two boys, sibling rivalry. Hay rivalidad entre los hijos de Isaac y Rebecca. Let's go with Jacob who marries Leah and Rachel and, he tr and of course he was tricked by his father-in-law. Jacob, Jacob se casa con Leah y Raquel y hay celos y envidia en la familia. So there's a bunch of jealousy and thievery in this king, in this family, but then we're going to end with King David Termin as the Bible describes a man after God's own heart. Terminamos con el Rey David a quien la Biblia describe como un hombre con el corazón según el corazón de Dios. He has a baby with Bathsheba and the baby dies. Tiene un hijo con Bethsabé y el niño muere. His son Absalom kills another son Abnon. Absalom, su otro hijo mata a Abnon. Because Abnon raped his half sister. Porque Abnon uh, violó a su media hermana. David lost four sons. David perdió a cuatro hijos. Due to his sin. Debido a su pecado. Wow. And these are the patriarchs. Y estos son los patriarcas. Where does this leave us? ¿Dónde nos deja eso a nosotros? Well, the good news is, is that these emotional and relational skills can be learned on how to build a healthy family. Las buenas nuevas son que podemos aprender uh, habilidades y capacidades emocionales 
y prácticos para construir una familia sana. A lot of us here are products Muchos de nosotros somos productos of a childhood where we had to do everything because los hermanos están viendo. That we had to do everything because the brothers are watching. A lot of us are products of parents that didn't know how to deal with our emotional issues. Uh, we are products of parents. Oh, I'm Spanish. Somos, <laughs> somos productos. Somos productos de padres que no supieron cómo tratar con nuestros complejidades emocionales. And many of us sitting right here right now. Y muchos estamos sentados aquí hoy. We're dealing with with insecurities. Uh, batallamos con inseguridades. And complexes. Con complejos. Because our parents. Porque nuestros padres didn't know how to deal with no supieron cómo their own issues. Manejar sus propios asuntos. And now we're carrying some of those problems. Y ahora nosotros cargamos con algunos de esos problemas. In the last six months, en los últimos seis meses, I have dealt with so many women he tratado con tantas mujeres that are having problems because their mothers don't like them. Que tienen problemas porque sienten que su mamá no las quiere. Do you know what it is to talk to a woman in her 40s? Sabe usted lo que es hablar con una mujer en sus 40s? And sob and she says, my mom hates me. Llorando y sollozando diciendo, mi madre me odia. And when I told her, you know why? Y cuando les digo, sabes? She probably went through the same thing too. Tal vez ella pasó por lo mismo también. So today we want to break those chains Hoy queremos romper esas that we cadenas. have all lived under. Que todo debajo de las cuales hemos vivido. So five godly principles Quiero compartir cinco to have a healthy family. Piadosos para tener una familia sana. And I have to start with this because the parents need to have a strong, loving relationship with God and each other. Y tengo que empezar con esto. Los, número uno, los padres tienen que tener una relación fuerte y amorosa con Dios y entre ellos mismos. You're not fooling the kids, parents. No están engañando a los niños, The padres. kids can see far beyond your relationship. Los niños pueden ver más allá de su relación and a, a marriage that is not good y un matrimonio que no está bueno sano causes confusion causa confusión insecurity inseguridad in your church in your family en su familia remember this recuerde esto a father's lack of spirituality causes great insecurity in the family. La falta de espiritualidad del padre causa una gran inseguridad en la familia. As does a loveless marriage. Y como lo hace también un matrimonio sin amor. When the husband allows family problems to linger and worsen. Cuando el marido permite que los problemas persistan y empeoren. The wife feels helpless and ultimately takes matters into her own hands. La esposa se siente indefensa y finalmente toma los asuntos en sus propias manos. Because we don't take care of our problems. Porque no solucionamos los problemas. Parents, padres, your children are watching. Sus hijos los están viendo. And at this time in history y, and in what's happening in our country, y en este tiempo en la historia con lo que está pasando en nuestro país, the enemy is taking advantage and putting all kinds of friends and TikToks and, and Facebook and Instagram and putting ideas in children who are feeling insecure. El enemigo entonces se aprovecha de la situación y con redes sociales y otras cosas, les mete cosas en la mente y ellos se sienten inseguros. Second Chronicle says this, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will hear their land. In other words, parents, if there is a problem in the marriage, I beg you to go and get help. En otras palabras, padre, si hay un problema en el matrimonio, le ruego que consiga ayuda. Go before the Lord, you and your wife. Ante Dios, primeramente usted y su esposa. Because there is great, great danger in the lives of your children when you are going through marriage problems. Porque hay un peligro muy grande en la vida de los niños cuando el matrimonio está cruzando por problemas. Number two. Número dos. Healthy families follow a clear roadmap of their beliefs, values, and morals. Las familias sanas 
siguen un mapa vial de sus creencias, valores y moralidad. What are values? ¿Qué son valores? Values are what you accept as a family as right or wrong. Los valores son estándares aceptados de lo correcto o incorrecto en la familia. Our values define what we want as a family. Nuestros valores definen lo que queremos como familia. Morals are society standards of right or wrong. La moralidad es el estándar de la sociedad de lo correcto o incorrecto. So what does this mean for my family, ¿Qué sister Rachel? ¿Qué quiere decir esto para mi familia, hermana Raquel? Well, maybe there's problems with your older children serving the Lord. Tal vez hay problemas porque sus hijos mayores no quieren servir al Señor. Because they don't know where they're going. Porque no saben a dónde van. You know what a road map does? ¿Saben lo que hace un mapa vial, un road map? It, it, it's a communication unto where the vision of the family, where the family is going and how to get there. Comunica a dónde va la familia y cómo llegar allí. Now, how many of us ¿Cuántos de nosotros do not know no sabemos what our parents thought was, was right or wrong? Lo que si nuestros padres qué era mal, correcto o incorrecto para nuestros padres, no lo sabíamos. How many of us were taught this? ¿Cuánto, a cuántos de nosotros se nos enseñó esto? Don't do that no hagas eso because the church doesn't like it. Porque la iglesia no le gusta. Don't do that no hagas eso because you're not supposed to. Porque no debes hacerlo. But we ne they never told us why. Pero nunca nos dijeron por qué. And a road map y un road map says, you know what? This is the values of the Valverde family. Dicen, estos son los valores de la familia Valverde. And together as a family, y juntos como familia, we're going to follow them to get to heaven. Vamos a seguirlos para llegar al cielo. Now, Sam and I did this Ahora, Samuel y yo hicimos esto when our kids were little. Cuando nuestros hijos estaban chicos. And I don't know if you remember, but number one, y no sé si se acuerda, pero número uno, uh, we put Pusimos, that when the kids get married they were not supposed to come back and live with us cuando se casen, no van a vivir con nosotros. we put that as number one Pusimos eso como número and uno, number ten y número diez. okay number two número dos, we sat with them I don't even know if you guys remember but I found a copy of it nos, we, nos sentamos con no sé si se acuerdan pero me encontré una copia de ello because they have to know where the family is going Porque deben saber a dónde va la familia, what we believe que creemos, and how we're going to get there cómo vamos a the llegar, vehicle el que nos lleva. and we told them this y les dijimos, we serve one God servimos, les servimos a un Dios, and how many of our children y de nuestros hijos can tell us things about the church pueden decirnos cosas de la iglesia, but they know nothing about God pero no conocen de Dios. and the roadmap is a form of communication y el roadmap es una forma de comunicación. this is what we believe Esto es lo que creemos. this is how we're going to get there Esto es como vamos a llegar. but sometimes families are not talking to each other pero a veces las familias no están con and in the in the Zoom prayers that we've been having y en los oraciones Zoom que hemos estado teniendo, the, all the prayer requests casi todas las solicitudes are about prodigal children son acerca de hijos pródigos. and they're, they're, they're begging the mothers help me pray my son, my daughter has been gone for years Madre rogando, ayúdenme a orar. Mi hijo, mi hija se ha ido por años. and it's because our kids don't know es porque nuestros hijos no saben. what they left que dejaron. It was easy to leave fue fácil dejarlo because they didn't know where they were going. Porque no sabían a dónde iban. Sit and talk with your children. Siéntese y converse. Communicate con what a family believes. Comunique con ellos como familia. We don't have time to waste. No tenemos tiempo que perder. Because. Porque. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9 says this. But before I, I, I say this, I want to say the following. Quiero decir the, esto antes de leer el texto. Uh, the decano, Brother George Medina, el decano, hermano Jorge Medina, he really uh, 
encourages the parents to have their children say this every day. De veras anima a los padres a que digan esto todos los días. But when we went to Israel, cuando fuimos para Israel, I saw what they mean by this. Vi lo que significa esto. Because there were fathers walking along the street. Había padres caminando por la calle. With their children behind them. Con sus hijos detrás de ellos. And they are reading the Torah. Leyendo or the, el Torah, la Torah. And they are as they're walking. Mientras caminaban. And maybe this is going to sound a little extreme. Y tal vez esto se oiga un poco but we are living in extreme times Pero right now. En tiempos extremos. And we need to talk to our children as much as we can. Necesitamos hablar a nuestros about hijos, who we no are. Que podamos, de, de quienes somos. About who he is. Quien él es. So this is the scripture. It says es this. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down and you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. How many of our children know this? That here, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. ¿Cuántos saben? Put the verse in Spanish, please. ¿Cuántos saben? Oye, Israel, vuestro Dios, vuestro Dios uno es. El Señor es uno. When, when are we supposed to talk about it? ¿Cuándo vamos a hablar de esto? All the time. Todo el tiempo. Right now we've been fasting. Hemos estado en ayuno. And we've been fasting TV. Y hemos ayunado la tele. So yesterday I was here at the church with my grandchildren. Ayer vine aquí, estaban mis nietos. And my uh, seven, uh, eight-year-old granddaughter. Mi nieta de ocho años came up and told me, have you watched The, Ch the Chosen? Me dijo, ¿Has visto, eh, el escogido, the Chosen? Le dije, yes, I started to watch it now that we've been fasting. I said, Le dije, sí, lo he visto. And The Chosen is a series about the life of Jesus. Chosen es una serie de la vida de Jesús. And I recommend it highly. It is amazing. Y la recomiendo altamente. Es, eh, increíble. And so she says, Wita, can we talk about it? Dijo, Wita, ¿podemos hablar de ello? And I said, of course. Le dije, sí. Y me dijo, I have a favorite scene. And she told me, tengo una escena favorita. Dije, what was your scene? And I told her, <laughs> you're talking Spanish. Oh. ¿Cuál es tu escena favorita? And she said, when Nicodemus dijo, was talking to Jesus. Cuando Nicodemo hablaba con Jesús. And her and I had a conversation. Y ella y yo tuvimos una conversación. About Nicodemus. Acerca de Nicodemo. And then my other little granddaughter. Y viene la otra nieta. She said, I wanted to cry. Me dijo, quería llorar. When Jesus rose, when, when Jesus healed the leper. Cuando Jesús sanó al leproso. And so we had this whole conversation Tuvimos about Jesus. Conversaciones de Jesús. And, and you know, and I was thinking, if, if yo, I would have been so busy. Si yo hubiera estado tan ocupada. Or, or not put thought no, to what she's been doing. O no poner, no pensar en lo que ella estaba haciendo. This moment could have passed. Este momento no hubiera sucedido. And so this scripture came to mind because I thought all the time we talk about Jesus all Esta the time. Esta escritura vino a mi mente. Hablamos de Jesús todo el tiempo. And number three. Número tres. Healthy families have clear boundaries and limits. Las familias sanas tienen límites claros. Dr. Cloud and Dr. Townsend. Los doctores uh, Cloudy Thompson, authors of boundaries, autores de límites, write that boundaries in biblical parenting keep going on, is to let good things in and keep bad things out. Escriben que el propósito de los límites en la crianza bíblica es dejar entrar cosas buenas y mantener las cosas malas afuera. Where are we, parents? ¿Dónde estamos, padres? It sometimes seems parece en ocasiones that the iPads. Que los iPads, social media redes sociales, are the new parents son los padres. what's happening ¿Qué está pasando? do you know what is in there as they're, what they're watching ¿Sabes lo que están viendo? there's no more boundaries ya no hay límites. because the boundaries are at home in their bedroom Porque los límites they están go to sleep with them se con ellos. and part of having 
good boundaries and protection on your children's y, hearts y parte de tener límites y protección alrededor del corazón de los hijos is to make sure that the bad doesn't get in es asegurar que no entre lo malo and they don't have to carry all the extra baggage y no tienen que cargar con esa carga I read the saddest statistic yesterday leí la estadística muy triste ayer the little boys que niños at the age of 8 and 9 and 10 de 8 a 10 are becoming addicted to pornography están, uh, son in the biggest numbers ever in the history en números astronómicos. why? ¿Por qué? because nobody's watching Porque nadie está cuidando. there's no more boundaries on ya anything no in their lives ya no hay everything's open Todo está abierto. what are you protecting? How are you protecting ¿Qué your children? Y cómo estás protegiendo a tus hijos? Hebrews 12, 1 says, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. We are on a race. Let's not get piled up with things that do not allow us to run. Hebreos dice, viendo que tenemos tal uh, ¿qué? Uh, compañía alrededor nuestra, corramos la carrera, despojándonos de todo el peso que nos asedia, por así. Corramos and con paciencia la carrera, despojémonos. Despojémonos. De and all this sin is heavy todo este pesado, eh, on our children. Es pesado sobre nuestros hijos. I realized the other day el otro día comprendí, in listening to some little girls talk de las niñas, that they know more at 14 que ellas saben más a los 14, than I knew at 30. Que yo sabía a los They're 30. way ahead of us Están muy adelantadas because the world's at their fingertips porque el mundo está en la yema and sus nobody's dedos, watching. Y nadie está cuidando. Nobody's keeping boundaries. Nadie está poniendo Everything's limites. open. Todo está abierto. And number four. Número cuatro. Healthy families communicate clearly and intentionally. Las familias sanas comunican de manera clara e intencional. And right now I'm going to talk religion versus relationship. Y ahorita voy a hablar religión versus relación. How many of us grew up? ¿Cuántos crecimos? With uh, we we would do something wrong. Si si uh, al hacer algo mal. And then they would tell us a verse. Nos dije nos decían un ver un texto. Honra tu padre y a tu madre. Honra tu padre y a tu madre. Or Honra you know el hijo sabio alegra al padre, mas el hijo necio es tristeza de tu madre. But they would do it as a scolding. Pero era como un regaño. Did you ever get verses to was scold you? Alguien lo regañó con texto. I mean, was it just me? O solamente. Or, or maybe not me. <laughs> And, and I realized that, that a lot of these prodigals and a lot of us que de los prodigos, y aún algunos de nosotros, we sometimes use verses utilizamos that become religion que se for, en religión, but not relationship. Pero no relación. When you say something you don't live Cuando tú dices algo que no vives, that's religion eso es religión. but relationship Pero relacion, is when you when you give a verse es, or and as life es cuando compartes un versículo y vida. do not use scripture incorrectly no uses la escritura de una manera incorrecta. Proverbs 15 7 says the lips of the wise disperse knowledge but the heart of the fool does not do so let us use our scripture, communicate it correctly. Usemos la escritura y comuniquémosla de una manera correcta. Not in anger. No en ira. But let's communicate it when the child is open and, and it's in a loving way. Comuniquémosla cuando el corazón del niño está abierto y de una manera amorosa. Because then they learn to hate it. Porque entonces ellos van a odiar la escritura. Or they don't listen to it anymore. O ya no van a poner atención. When, when I was a little girl yo era una niña, I grew I was in a church with a lot of cousins yo había muchas primas en la iglesia con and nosotros. we would sit in the front y nos sentábamos enfrente, and we would talk and laugh y hablábamos y nos reíamos. and my grandfather was, would look, sit and he would look at us talk and laugh Mi abuelo nos miraba que estábamos riendo y, y platicando. so one day Un he día, he, he told the minister to go tell us something. Le dijo a un ministro que fuera y nos dijera algo. And he went and took us to pray. Y el ministro nos pasó a orar. And he said, y nos dijo, I mean, this was so many years ago, but I still remember, he says, esto hace tanto año, pero todavía me acuerdo. He goes, you girls need to be punished. Ustedes necesitan ser castigadas. Pray. Oren. 
And do you know for years por años, I thought that prayer was a punishment. Yo pensaba que la oración era un castigo. Let's be careful how we communicate God to our kids. A nuestros hijos. Prayer is not a punishment. Oración no es castigo. The word of God is not a punishment. La palabra no es castigo. Let's communicate clearly. Tam comuniquemos de una manera clara. But sometimes as parents if we don't have a relationship Pero si with God no we con don't Dios, know how to use his word no sabemos cómo usar su and palabra. it becomes religion y, y se torna en religión. without meaning. And number five Número cinco. healthy families respect each other. Las familias sanas se respetan respect recognizes the best in people. El respeto reconoce lo mejor respect de la teaches persona. us not to treat others as unimportant. Nos enseña no tratar a los demás como algo poco importante. Nothing hurts a child more Nada lastima más a un niño than being treated que ser tratado as he is useless como si fuera un inútil or he means nothing. Y nada. And some of us grew up algunos crecimos I hear this all the time. I hear this all the escucho time. esto todo el tiempo like the children didn't matter Como que los niños no, no put them in a room los, en el cuarto. let them play que, que for as long as Mientras, it didn't matter no importa. while the parents were busy in Mientras, ministry los en ministerio. and the children it, there was no respect for the children y no había respeto para los niños. And we lost a lot of us. Y perdimos a muchos de ellos. Healthy families respect each other. Las familias sanas se respetan. The place in the home. En la casa. When uh, and I, we make it a point here at Fountain of Truth. Es intencional lo que hacemos aquí. With our children's ministry. Con el ministerio de los niños. Because they're important. Porque ellos son importantes. They matter. Ellos. Son importantes. The juniors. Los juniors. We don't just stick them in a room. No, no, los a un no. no. They, they're important. Son importantes. Our families deserve respect. Nuestras familias merecen el respeto. Healthy families respect each other. Las familias sanas se respetan. Philippians says, let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit. But in loneliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Parents, Padres, the world is losing it with the children, the mundo. families. But the church doesn't have to. Pero la iglesia no tiene que perder a los hijos. Like Pastor Patrick was Como saying, el Pastor Patrick decía, we can't just sit here and do nothing. No podemos quedarnos aquí y hacer but nada. But it starts at home. Empieza en la, it en el starts hogar. with you. Empieza contigo. If your children are already grown, si tus hijos ya crecieron, and and they maybe they can't find their way. Y no God. encuentran su camino hacia Dios. Show them. Muéstraselos. Sit with them. Siéntate con ellos. And talk to them. Habla con ellos. Talk. Habla. And right now, y ahora, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. Les voy a pedir que cierren sus ojos. There are people here I feel right now hay gente aquí, siento, hay gente aquí, that are struggling so much que, with themselves que están batallando con ellos mismos, because of the way you were brought up. Por la manera como fuiste criado. You were so disrespected. Te des, te, te, no, no te dieron respeto. Nobody talked to you. Nadie te habló. And if it was, y si te hablaron, it was to chastise you. Era una manera para castigarte. But every heart healed. Pero cada corazón sanado Here. aquí. But there are some of you who have children that are prodigal sons si and daughters. Sí, hay algunos que tienen hijos pródigos. But while there's life, mientras hay vida, there's hope. Hay esperanza. You keep praying. Usted siga orando. But if your children are in your home still, pero si tus hijos viven contigo todavía. Start a roadmap with them. Empieza un roadmap. And say, you know what, you know where the Valverde family is going. Dile, ¿sabes dónde va la familia Valverde? This is what we believe. Esto es lo que creemos. This is how we're going to make Esto it. Esto es cómo lo vamos a hacer. And we're going to do it together. Y vamos a hacerlo juntos. So right now, everybody think of of their child. Piense de su, en sus hijos. Maybe of yourself. En usted. You know, right now, as I'm talking, hablo, 
I'm not thinking of my nine grandchildren, no estoy pensando de mis, en mis nueve nietos. I have, I'm thinking of my three kids. Estoy pensando de mis tres hijos. And they're viejos. Y ya están viejos. There's 40, 41, and 42. 40, 41, and 42. But I'm thinking of them Pero still. Estoy pensando en ellos todavía. Who are you thinking of right now? ¿De quién piensas tú en Whose este face? Whose La cara face? De quién? Do you see in your heart right now? En tu corazón. Show them the way. Muéstrales el camino. To God's love. Al amor de to Dios. God's heart. Al corazón de Dios. And to heaven. Y al cielo. We're going to make it together. La vamos a hacer juntos. God bless you.